Hi, I'm Mark Cleghorn, the Training Director for the Photographer Academy, and today we're talking Smug Mug branding. That's not so much branding for Smug Mug, that's branding for us as photographers and clients of Smug Mug. For me, one of the most important things over the years was to make sure that my business stood out from the crowd. It was easily identifiable, whether it was a photographer out on a wedding for me, or whether it was photographers out shooting an event, I needed to make sure that they were being associated with the Mark Cleghorn Photography brand. Today, pretty much my brand is the Photographer Academy, and as you can tell from all the t-shirts and everything else, we're heavily branded as well. And that's one thing we need to make sure that the likes of our website, our Smug Mug website, kind of follows that through. So we're going to be looking at ways that we can just turn on and off the Smug Mug header. Uh, as you can see here, just on the mobile option, if we look at the top, there's the Smug Mug um, element on the bottom site, and when we look at the top one, it's kind of invisible. So both have the same logos, both have the same kind of layout, but one of them still has the Smug Mug logo switched on. Of course, we want to kind of take that away if you're a pro photographer. Other things we're going to be talking about in branding is kind of making our products look good. Uh, one of the great things for us that Smug Mug are associated with the top labs throughout the world. I use uh, Loxley Colour in the UK, that's the only lab uh, available, just happens to be the lab that I use all the time. But one of the things that they allow us to do is to send out our products in a much better way. I'm a high-end studio, so it means that I've got the profit there still to be able to actually include the likes of the kind of deluxe branding. But if you're kind of just getting going, or I just want to add a little bit of flavor to kind of low-end prints as far as event photography and so on where the profit isn't huge, then you might want to just actually simply go with the, the kind of the sticker options that we get to kind of apply to the packaging as they're going out from the lab. We also um, opt for the um, thank you card option, so that goes into every one of our packaging. It costs us a little bit of money as well, but again, it's all about that kind of branding from us to the client, and they might well go on and actually tell one of their friends. In fact, uh, we develop this, uh, depends on the time of year, but we develop this into a bit of a voucher. So instead of it looking like a thank you card, it actually has so much to spend. It has a discount kind of code on here, or it has an offer to give away to a friend and so on with it. So think about the branding all the way through with that. The boutique packaging is another part of the Smug Mug branding options that, that we have. So instead of just um, the, the normal kind of packaging, we can kind of give it a little bit more of a sexy look. And that's one thing that uh, Smug Mug and their suppliers re uh, really do. So kind of even going through from the kind of the tissue to the box element here, the, the kind of the packaging on the top and then finishing off with a little bit of kind of ribbon. And even if it's a simple order, um, like prints, um, when we do um, special promotions through the likes of packages, we also include our boutique packaging in that at times. And I think you'll agree that the overall presentation here is pretty superb straight out from the lab itself. Let's not forget that none of this comes to us. This is shipped directly to the client. And the key thing is that, that I'm not going to see it, our staff are not going to touch it, so I need to know that I've got a professional team associated with us, i.e. the Loxley's crew, will make sure that my product is going out to my client and it looks the best it can look like. And when they open it up, they know why they've spent a premium amount of money with me compared to actually a cheaper photographer, perhaps. So branding isn't simple. It's a bit of a thought, but it is simple to do in Smug Mug. So as I said, in this film, we're going to kind of show you how to switch things on and off and to actually upload the special things like the stickers and the thank you cards to make sure our site looks as good as it can be. So without ado, let's get into the film. So let's first of all compare the difference in the branding in this demonstration site that we've got here. This one's just got the Mark Cleghorn Photography in text and we've got the Smug Mug Pro still switched on there. Plus, when I go to the shopping cart, you can see it's kind of plain and boring. Whereas when we go into the Mark Cleghorn Photography site here, this is one of my webinar demonstration sites here, away from my main site, of course, I can't play around with that on a webinar. But this is already beginning to get a little bit more branding. We've got the logo there, we've got the header switched off. If we go into the shopping cart here, we've got a nice little white icon there. And that's what we're gonna to look to achieve as our basics in getting going with branding in this film. So just to show you how to do these adjustments, I'm using my main demonstration site here just to show the differences because I've already got credit card information in here. So I'm just going to click into customize and then customize site. And what I'm looking to do is looking to replace this uh, head in here, this Mark Cleghorn photography. Now remember that in red adjusts the whole site. Just get rid of that text, click onto image and then go in and select one. I'm going to click into my other folder, into my smug mug site folder and then just go and choose my logo in the top left. Click done. So the size in there, the size of the logo. Now I can squeeze that down a touch of course by just 
typing in the different pixel sizes. I think I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. That looks good. And press done to that. And then the next thing to do is to go into settings and to switch off the smug bunk header. I tend to leave the smug bunk footer on there just to make it easier for me to kind of log in and out of my site. I'm going to click save. Oh, before I do that, let me just add the favicon. Just going into my little favicon logo I've made up there. Pressing save, pressing done, and publish now. And then the favicon is the little logo on the top left hand side, as you can see, just on the web bar. So the next stage is going to go into the account settings. Just click on my icon there, click onto account settings. And then because this is all about business and branding, it's obviously in business and branding. So I'm just going to click into the branding option, click on to manage order branding. And this is all about kind of how the shipping is going to go out from the lab. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a logo into the shopping cart. Just going to use a slightly different one. I've made a 240 by 140 pixel uh, one ready. These are the set sizes that they're telling us. And the next one is the thank you card. Click onto that. Now I do have a few thank you cards in fact. Let me just show you in Photoshop. I have a few thank you cards, uh, all the same one. It's just at times I want to offer different discounts so I can kind of just go in here and just kind of put it specifically to them using a bit of a bigger splash and using it in different seasons and depending on the different promotion I might have running or I might look into run a say a mother and daughter promotion near Mother's Day so I can kind of go in there and just kind of put a wanted mothers and daughters in here to kind of add that on and they can pass it on to friends and family and so on and at times of course we can use a bit of a thank you as a voucher as well so clicking into browse click on my thank you card and the last one is going to be the sticker, so I'm just going to click on to browse, go and click my sticker, and now it gives you all the dimensions on there, what sizes to make it up for, that's a key thing, and then just switch those on, and that gives us our look, that's the wrong logo there in fact, I'm going to click back to browse, click onto the square logo, let me just see if that changes automatically. Perhaps it's just caught in the cache. Let's go to Upload. Yeah, it was just in the cache, as we can see. So I'm going to click Done. And that's my branding basics achieved. Now, the thank you prints will cost us money, of course. Now, make sure you do want them and you've got the profit there to be able to afford to do that within your packaging. The other thing is like a print mark and this is down in the bottom corner of the image and it really depends if you want to use it or not. A print mark is a great way to add extra branding to your images and this could be used specifically like a signature print or a promotional photograph or to give a very specific look to the likes of a special event. So remember applying a graphic print mark to your image uh, also applies it to the client's order prints and downloads. So to use a print mark of course the first thing we're going to do is make one. So let's go to my home page, click on to organize and then f go into my other folder, then into my Smugbug site files, click onto this shadow image here, double clicking that will open it up, down to the bottom and clicking onto the tools, bottom of the page and then use as print mark. So you can just see it down on the bottom right hand side here, it's a PNG, it's no background on here so it kind of sits on the front because it's white text. Just going to give it the name MC Whiteout. I don't need to fade that. Want it to stand out there on the print. Just going to click Save, click off that, get back to Done. And then once more, I can go to the account settings, back into Print Marks, and you can see that one is now applied. Now, if you want to delete it or edit, of course, just use the buttons on the side there. Now, if you're going to offer boutique packaging, this is where you switch it on and then you click into Manage. Now remember, boutique packaging comes out of your profit or you end up paying for it. So this is why we always put in a minimum order on that, make sure it's covered in the costings. Now you can either put a minimum order or a minimum order of profit. So that's how you kind of tailor make it around your business. 
And remember, if you don't have the profit in the job, you're going to end up paying for it. So it's going to click Save. So to finish off with branding, let's make a watermark to use. Click onto the icon at the top, click onto my home page. Well, why do I want a custom watermark? Well, if I just click onto Client Files and go into my portraits for a second, we can see across the top here there's two different effects going on one without any watermarking and one with proof. And then you can also see the other one, there's one below here, which is, has the kind of repeating pattern Mark Cleborn. But let me show you those. So this is the kind of default uh, watermarking off, so this doesn't have anything on. Then when the watermark switched on with SmugMug, gives us this proof going across the whole image. And then a custom watermark allows you to pretty much adapt it to your style and branding, however you want it to look. So let's go back into Organize. And clicking into where I store all my other files. Clicking into my smug mug. Go and choose this banner. And then if I come down to the bottom here, clicking onto Tools again, and then I can click on Use as Watermark. Now at this stage it's going right through the middle. Now, this isn't a PAG, this is a strip, this is a white background with text. So, what I want to do, to do this is make it a washout. So, it's got, always going to look a little bit stronger on screen than it will be to the proof itself. So, don't be afraid to fade it out about 75%. But you can go down to 80, 85% for extra wash. It's not to put the clients off, of course, it's just to safeguard our images, really. I'm just going to call this MC Strip. 14, I'm going to hit submit, once that's done click into client files just to demonstrate it, I'm going to create a new gallery and I'm just going to give it a name, quick settings in my portfolio and security, come down to here just put the watermark in on and I'm going to go and choose my strip 14 that we just made up. So you can just see that number on the end to identify it. Then I'm going to click create. Then double clicking into that new gallery. Click on the upload photos. Go and get a few files and drag those in. And then when SmugMug has uploaded those JPEG files, it converts them into the usable files and it's going to have the watermark and apply to the images. Just click onto Done there, and there we can see the kind of Mark Cleghorn strip running across the middle. So it's just up to you how you brand it, but isn't it nice if you can kind of follow it all the way through your site so everything kind of looks as one, from the logo on the home screen, going through the branding in the shopping cart. Speaking about the shopping cart, let's see what the client would see. So let me just log out of that, and click into the client files, click into the portrait files, and click straight into that gallery I just made up of Ollie. And we can see that the buy button's up there on the right hand side. I'm just going to click onto that to buy this photo. And we'll just add some stuff into the cart so you can see it, kind of how it moves forward. Click into checkout. And now, of course, this is now what the user will see before they start to pay us any money. So it's always nice to add that little kind of branding into the cart itself. Finishes it off, and the client knows they're buying from us. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick film on looking at branding on the SmugMung site. I'm Mark Cleveland for the Photographer Academy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.